This is Pro Series Off Topic. Welcome back to Pro Series Off Topic. This is episode 25 today. Um, I'm going to talk about another TikTok that I found. I, I got a lot of DMs from that history one last week, so I actually found another one of a 1955 GE fridge that, in my opinion, should still be a thing. Um, and I'm reposting a guy named Day and Busters um, on TikTok and on Instagram. Go check him out. He's actually pretty funny. Um, he does an audio over top of this video that it's hilarious, um, but I agree with everything he <laughs> says. It's, it's amazing where... These appliances nowadays, they, they put a TV on it and all this stuff. But looking back at the technology and like the stuff they introduced to these appliances back in the day, like they're genius. Like, why aren't we using this? This GE fridge, the cool part about it had um, a Lazy Susan shelf to it, um, which sounds like it would take up more space or you wouldn't get a lot of space on shelves, but you need to go head over to my social media and check it out. Again, this is a repost for a video that um, Day and Busters on TikTok and Instagram um, did audio over top of. It was a video that went trending probably a couple of years ago or something like that. And um, people, a lot of people have done it. So I don't know who the original owner is. So if you are the original, owner, please message me. I like to give credit to the original, original owners. That's what I've always done. Um, and then, yeah, to go check that out. Um, I hope GE or some type of appliance company brings back these basic, really cool features that were back in the day. I went down a big rabbit hole of like the technology that they had in kitchens back in the day. Some of them were still in existence or still used um, or they're added accessories to a kitchen, but a lot of them I've never seen before and they're genius. Um, and maybe I'll just keep adding more and more of these of videos on um, on like w w as the year goes on. So um, check that out. Let's get into country music. Let's get into media base first. Number five this week, Dustin Lynch, uh, stars like Confetti. Number four, Russell Dickerson, God gave me a girl. Morgan Wallen, thinking about me. Jason try Jason Aldean, try that in a small town. And number one, Lainey Wilson um, with Watermelon Moonshine. This week, um, there was a fair amount of new music this week. Um, she Calls Me Back from Noah Cohen and Casey Musgraves was a big song this week. I, I really like that. I, I, Noah Cohen is, in my opinion, going to be like the next. He's technically alternative, but he keeps, you know, he has a really good song if um, if you haven't checked him out, check out the first song I would tell you to check out is Dial Drunk. He posted, he released that probably like a month or two months ago with um, Post Malone. It's a great song. But even though it's alternative, it leans a lot more to the folk Americana country type of vibe. Um, but this song with Casey Musgraves is great. Kaylee Bannon just came out with another song called I Know Better Now. If you don't know Kaylee Bannon, she is the host of the Today's Country on Apple. Um, she's had a couple big songs in the past, but she kind of releases songs every once in a while, but that's her big thing is being the host of today's country on Apple, Jesse Murph and Jelly Roll came out with a song, um, called wild ones. Pretty good. Jesse is, um, if you don't know who she is, you probably know her from the Diplo song heartbroken. That's a, it's a big song right now. It's part of Diplo's kind of country, Tom Weasley type of deal. Um, but that's a really good song. Go check that out. Jason Aldean came out with another song off of his album, Highway Desperado. And that is Whiskey Drink. Classic Jason Aldean song about whiskey. Um, next one, Carly Pierce, he Heels Over Head. Good. I kind of like this new sound Carly's going for. And it's not as, you know... I don't want to say depressing, but you know, you know what I mean. She, um, going through the divorce and everything. This song's kind of out of that, um, that that era, I guess you would call it. Um, Gabby Barrett, Pittsburgh's own, came out with another song called "Cowboy Back." She re she released like a snippet of it over the summer or in the spring at this point, and she finally released that song. I don't think it's going to be the lead single, given that her song glory days just hit number 30 on the media base chart so maybe that's the next single 
Reba came out with a single, Seven Minutes in Heaven. Um, this is like classic Reba, like 80s, 90s vibe. It is great. I would definitely go check that out. It's just a classic story written country song. I really like it. I don't know if it's going to be like a number one, but I think it's one of those songs that's so well written and means so much. It's a great song. Um, Morgan Evans came out with a song called Thank God She's a Country Girl, um, which is a sample of an old song. It's pretty decent. Go check it out. Um, he has a couple more songs that he's been kind of hinting at or giving snippets of at concerts that I'm more excited for. Hope so. Hopefully he, as year goes on, he maybe comes out with an album. Kobe Calais came out with another country song. It's still so weird seeing her on the country um, page, but um, it's called A Long Day. Her voice really fits the country vibe, so... Hopefully it goes well with her. High, High Valley, great band, came out with another one called uh, Counting Them Up. Um, I'm guessing they're coming out with a new album because they've been coming out with a lot of new um, singles lately. Um, but that's it for this week. Go check, um, again, my social media for that GE fridge from the 50s. Um, it's genius. I don't know why appliance companies aren't making those anymore. But yeah, go check those out and enjoy the rest of your weekend. And we'll talk next week.